Good afternoon, my cool friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are cooking. You know, family's coming over, so we'll make them some food. But first things first, we'll make us a cocktail. I'll call this a mimosa breeze. All right. But first, we'll cup of ice on a rock glass. Put them right here on my uh, beautiful shaker. Now we pour some cranberry juice, one ounce. Grapefruit juice. Also one ounce of that on the shaker. We'll put some uh, simple syrup. Also one ounce of that. I'm running low, so I need to buy some more. And of course, we're gonna pour some sparkling champagne. It's a rosé. So we'll do uh, two ounces of that. One, two. Now we uh, shake him a little bit. One, two, three. That's good. Pour it back into my cup. So good. Now we garnish it with lemon peel. Just kind of scrub them around the rim. Pour some aromas. And now we drink. Oh, wow. Mm. Ah. So good. I almost choked. Now we can cook, guys. Follow me. Whew. One more drink. Okay, guys, here it is. Here's what we're gonna cook. First, we got some shrimp here. We're gonna stuff it with crab. We're gonna make sure there's no shell on it. Double check. We're gonna season that later on. And we're gonna have some sock ice salmon. We're gonna pan fry that. And we're gonna grill some scallop. We can, all right. Then we're gonna make some uh, bur blanc sauce for this one. How's that? Bur blanc. Make it fancy. And this one, we're making mashed potatoes. Simple, right? All right. Let's get on with it. All right, guys. For the stuffing, we're gonna saute some red pepper, green pepper, and onions. Then you guys melt a, a couple of tablespoonful uh, of uh, butter. Then uh, we can start sauteing the red bell pepper, green, and onions. We'll cook it for about three minutes or so. Soften it up a little bit. We're gonna use this to mix in the crabs that we have okay we're gonna cook it and they're gonna let it cool down for uh, about half an hour change the salt Okay guys, it's about done. I cook it like around about four minutes because uh, I think I cut the peppers a little thick, but that's all good. All right, that's all good. All right, turn it up. Now, let it cool down. Okay guys, here we go. Let's make this topping. First, we're gonna put like a 
a tablespoon of Old Bay to the vegetable that's been cooled down. All right. Half a teaspoon of parsley. Now we mix it to the pound and a half of the crab meat. Mix it gently. Now we pour some uh, one egg. Two tablespoons of paraben sauce, paraben sauce, about a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise, that should be a fourth, uh, a little more, there you go. Two tablespoon of hot sauce. That's two. Now we can just mix it up. Incorporate that nice and gently. Now we add uh, maybe a three teaspoons of, no, three tablespoons of lemon. Pretty much one whole lemon, okay? Then some Ritz crackers, guys. There you go. Mix it properly. Yeah. There you go. Maybe that's like about uh, one cup of rich crackers on that, guys. So one cup. Now we can start uh, stopping it. All right, to stop the shrimp, guys, make sure uh, your shrimp is a little bit like sliced in there. So then uh, maybe a, uh, a tablespoon of uh, the crab mixture. Stop him right there. I'm sorry, it's upside down. Now, about a tablespoon of crab mixture on a sheet pan, parchment paper. There you go, voila.
All right, guys, now we're gonna bake this uh, stuffed shrimp with crab. First, we're gonna put some butter, okay? We're gonna kinda drizzle them with butter, every single one of them. Then we're gonna bake it for 375 degrees for about 20 minutes, all right? Go to, going to the oven, 375 in 20 minutes. All right guys, we're gonna make some beurre blanc sauce for the salmon that we're gonna fry. First, about two tablespoons of butter, shallots. for about a minute. Now we add uh, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. One, three. And about two tablespoons of white wine, dry white wine. Go. All right, guys, let it reduce. Reduce it to almost nothing. All right, guys, it took about four or five minutes to uh, re reduce the fluid on the shallots. Now it's ready to uh, for a cream. Let's put some heavy cream, about three four cups. Let it simmer. Put it down low. Now we can add a, a stick of a butter. I think that's a stick and a half. One stick and a half. And kind of cook it on a low heat. Keep on stirring it. teaspoon of salt. Couple of cloves of pepper. Done. All right, now guys, we're gonna fry the salmon. Go ahead. All right, skim down first. Uh, about, I say about three minutes on each side. All right. All right. We get the mash going. Looking good. We get the crab stuff shrimp. We get the pan fried salmon, sockeye salmon. And we have some scallops. All right, let's go play it up.
Alexa, lead the way. Is it time to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Seafood trio with beurre blanc sauce and a bed of mashed potato. Voila, bon appetit guys. Come on, let's go eat. Now we're gonna make some, today we're gonna make some, uh, today we are gonna make some, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say.